hello everyone and welcome back and this video is a review video on a screen recorder iobit screen recorder and let me show you their website and that is a free screen recorder so if you are making videos for youtube or any social media and you want to record your screen for free then you can use this iobit screen recorder however the funny thing is that i am using camtasia recorder to record the entire screen for now and as I want to show you all the features of Iobit screen recorder, as you can see here, they have explained about all the main features of this screen recorder that you can take screenshot, you can convert into multiple output formats and I will show you all of them, a lot of them I mean. So let's get started and if I open this Iobit screen recorder. See, to show you all the features from the beginning, I have to use another screen recorder. That is why I am using the Camtasia recorder at the first place. So you can see the entire screen when you start Obit screen recorder. So I will minimize this. So the first thing first. So we can also compare this with the Camtasia studio and Camtasia recorder. So let's see which one is better. And of course, my vote goes to Camtasia Studio because it has a lot of features which Iobit doesn't have. So let's get started and here you can choose the screen region that how much area you want to capture. You can go with full screen or a select window or a select region. Select region you can choose that you just want to record this much of screen. So let me choose full screen and here you have the option if you want to make the speaker on so let's say if i play a video on youtube so do you want to record the audio of this video that is what this feature means and i will show you an example later on and you want to record the microphone and you want to record the mouse so here we have further setting under the recording setting button if you will click on that it will show you that where your recordings will get saved. So that is the folder name doc under documents, iobit, screen recorder, output. And video sizes will be remain original according to the resolution of your screen and in which format you want to record your video. So in Camtasia recorder, they have two different types of file. One is the Camtasia recording itself and another is you can also save Camtasia recording as AVI file. I have already created a few videos on Camtasia and the playlist link is given in the video description. You can go and watch them if you want to make a perfect video for your YouTube videos. So here you, have, you can see that they are providing a lot more formats than Camtasia recorder. But the in, in Camtasia recorder, if you record in Camtasia recording format, then later you can import that recording into Camtasia Studio, which gives you a lot of features like annotation, animation, zoom in, zoom out. And furthermore, they have the timeline where you can crop the videos, can separate the audio video. And there are a lot of features that you can use. But I hope it's screen recorder lacks all of these features. It can just help you to record your videos, you, you record your screen in any of these format directly and you can upload them to your social media accounts or uh, youtube video youtube channel so here is the frame rate the default is set to 30 and quality is set to high and that is the audio format that will it will use for its recording so there is a few more feature you if you don't want to record the microphone you can turn it off right here if you click this burger button and go to settings then here you will find further settings that you can use as per your requirement. For instance, the language of this program is set to English by default and on close key program running in system tray that is checked by default. That means if I open the iobit screen recorder once and later if I close it and now if I click in the taskbar you can see this running in the background. So I double click it again. have record speaker record microphone those buttons they are also available here and here is two more options you have add highlighted effect and add click 
animation so i have checked these option and i will show you after recording that how what the mean of these so countdown before recording when i will start the recording it will give me a three second pause first and then it will start the recording show floating toolbar i will show you the meaning of these options here auto hide desktop icons auto hide taskbar so i will not check both of these option because i want my desktop and my taskbar during the recording prevent system sleep during recording so let's say it is recording a live concert let's say so you just want to record and let that live concert is three hours long and you don't want to sit in front of your computer then you can prevent your system from going to sleep mode because of no activity because there will only will be playing a video so sometimes if that is not checked then your entire system can go to sleep mode and that can also prevent the recording so that is why this option is here and let me show you the format as they were in the previous window and here are the hotkeys to screenshot will be captured in jpg format by default and if you want to go with png or bmp that's your choice however jpg is best uh, smaller in size here in the hotkeys you can define shortcut keys to start and stop the recording or pause or resume the recording so i will change them to control f9 and for pause i will choose control f10 and the same keys were defined in the camtasia share recorder the default value for this start stop and pause resume is f9 and f10 and in camtasia share recorder they are set to f9 and f10 by default and in ios bit screen recorder it is also set to f9 and f10 so if you are using both of them then you must change the shortcut keys and to take screenshot you can use control f11 and i will save all these settings and now i will click on the record button and we will record a few things then we will see the recording and that is the floating window if you don't want it here then you can turn that from the option that i shown you before so here i let's say i play one of my video and because there are two screen recorders running now then that is why it is behaving a little bit slow so let's say if i want to take the screenshot of this then i can just click on this button and it will capture a screenshot so it is currently recording and let's say i play this one so if you don't want to spend a lot of money on screen recordings then you can try this application and later i will show you how you can edit your recordings so okay now i will stop the recording by clicking on this done button or i can also press the control f9 key so it saved the recording in this video list here you can later also click on this video list and it will show you all the videos that you have captured previously and here you can delete this recording or if you want to play this then you can click on this play button and it will choose your default player okay you can see that it is recording the screen and the microphone and we will test that it, it has recorded the speakers as well or not okay that's fine so for the screenshots you can click on this button screenshot and here we can see that screenshot that we have taken previously if you think that you don't want to spend your money on a screen recorder then you can try this iobit screen recorder for free and let me show you the editing options here before we end this video and if i go to videos and open this one then the only editing option that you have here is the cropping you just can crop this recording and nothing else so that is why it's like a lot of feature than camtasia studio so one main feature that i think it really lack is the uh, feature of combining the screen recordings so as it is saving all these recordings into mp4 so this free version must have an option to combine your recordings that way let's say you can play your slideshow in the powerpoint and then record that screen and that will can be used as a separate clip so that way you can make different clips and can join them together 
and can make a final video so as there is not much option in editor so you only stick to the cropping side and that means you have to make the entire video in one shot otherwise you will only be able to crop that video from the front and in the end and nothing else so i think there should be an option to combine the recordings and if you want to combine your recordings then you can try this software as well format factory and it is available for free and you can download this format factory from any of these website freely available and it can uh, convert into different audio formats into different video formats and you can combine your mp4 recordings into a single video so i think you will like this video let me know by liking sharing and commenting on this video and do subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tutorial videos thanks for watching and have a wonderful day